children are not the only ones who enjoy playing with model cars. Most men do, although they don't like to admit it. But scientists, for example, have a good excuse, for models like these are used in tests carried out by the Road Research Laboratory at Langley Bucks. This model is a brake fault simulator, showing what happens to a lorry when the wheels lock at speeds of 35 to 40 miles an hour. When you think that road transport is one of Britain's biggest industries, and that each year accidents cost nearly 100 million pounds, besides incalculable suffering and distress, the task of the research laboratory seems overwhelming. Nevertheless, these little-known backroom boys go about their jobs quietly and efficiently with all sorts of unusual apparatus like this sidecar device for measuring the slipperiness of road surfaces. this standardized method of measuring slipperiness, the sidecar wheel is set at an angle of 20 degrees from the direction of travel. To ensure that all tests are conducted to the same standard, a specially made treadless tire is used. On a dry road, the tire used for this experiment would have a life of only 30 miles. Full marks if you can guess what this strange contraption is. Well, for those of you who collect big words, it's a profilometer used for recording longitudinal undulations of road surface, commonly known as bumps. Far from being some newfangled contraption, however, this 16-wheel carriage with its three recording wheels was designed in 1936 and has time and again demonstrated its value. More simple. This is another brake test, simulating the performance of rim-tight cycle brakes in wet weather. The brakes are applied at the normal hand pressure and the effects registered on dials. In this way, it's possible to ascertain the best material for brake locks. In fact, since the tests began, a 40% improvement has been made. Something that most of us have wanted to do at some time or another. But this is what happens with a windscreen of specially toughened glass. Note that it doesn't cut. It is, in fact, designed to crack into 20 particles per square inch. A test to demonstrate the lack of tire adhesion of a wet surface, showing how a car will climb a one in four gradient on a dry road, but fails on a wet surface. When the speed of the moving road is increased, the tires refuse to grip, and only when the speed is reduced does the car climb slowly. A useful tip to drivers, and yet another example of the way the research team is helping to keep death off our roads.